Royal Rehab has evolved from humble beginnings in 1899 to become Australia's leading rehabilitation and disability support provider. This year, we celebrate 120 years of service to Australians living with illness and disability. In 1899, 27-year-old Susan Shard recognised a need for people living with a disability to access support and care. Susan, who was blind, helped a man with no legs who was destined to be homeless find accommodation in Surrey Hills. This simple act built the foundations of what is known today as Royal Rehab. In 1900, Susan formed a committee and opened the Commonwealth Home for Destitute Invalids in a cottage at Cleveland Street, Redfern. The Governor of New South Wales at the time, Sir Harry Rawson, took a personal interest in Susan's work and became the first patron of the home. By 1906, more space was urgently needed and pastoralist Sir Henry Moses offered his home Wimala in Ryde for half its value. The New South Wales Home for Incurables was opened at Wimala in 1907. Services and facilities steadily expanded. By 1924, Susan Shart had recognised another need in the community, a place for the care and treatment of people with cancer. Despite opposition and admit concerns from the community that cancer could be infectious, Susan opened a second home, Murong. The Great Depression of 1929 placed an enormous strain on Wimala as public and government funding fell away. Susan Shard and her guide companion Beatrice Ricketts travelled throughout New South Wales, educating the public and raising money. It is estimated she raised over £35,000 until her retirement. Nurses have played a vital role at Royal Rehab since the beginning. One remarkable nurse was Matron Minnie Savell, who in 1941 was awarded an MBE for her outstanding service. In 1967, Kura Bell became the third facility at the site, offering allied health services and accommodating non-acute patients for rehabilitation. During the 1970s, as the need for long-term care grew, services and facilities of the renamed Royal Ride Rehabilitation Hospital continued to expand. There was an increased focus on rehabilitation, particularly helping people to optimise their functioning and independence to return to the community and workforce. Specialist rehabilitation doctors have played a vital role in the important work of Royal Rehab throughout the years. During the 1980s and 1990s, Dr Robert Oakeshott established the hospital as a centre for postgraduate medical education. He was instrumental in developing the Spinal Injury Rehabilitation Service, the New South Wales Brain Injury Rehabilitation Program and the Wimala Community Integration Program. In 1987 and 1992, the Spinal Injury and the Brain Injury Units were established, providing highly specialised rehabilitation. These services support people to achieve as much independence and quality of life as possible following traumatic injury. The Spinal Outreach Service was established in 2003, providing integrated services for people with spinal cord injuries across regional and rural New South Wales. As we arrived into the 21st century, it was decided to redevelop the site to deliver a more contemporary, functional, purpose-built facility and world-class standard of excellence in rehabilitation and disability services. After extensive planning and consultation, the new facility opened in stages up to 2014. This included the Royal Rehab Private Hospital, which offers inpatient and day rehabilitation programs. In 2015, Royal Rehab expanded its supported accommodation services for people with disabilities with the construction of purpose-built homes in Putney. Across Sydney, our dedicated staff continue Susan's legacy, 
empowering people to live as independently as possible with 24-7 and drop-in support for everyday needs and community participation. In 2017, Royal Rehab became the operators of Sargood on Collaroy, a world-first purpose-built facility for people with spinal cord injuries. In 2019, Royal Rehab launched the Ducati Owners Club of New South Wales Education and Research Hub, driving medical advancements in rehabilitation and disability services. Over our 120-year history, generations of people have turned to us for support when facing some of life's biggest challenges. Our multidisciplinary team of health professionals are leaders in their fields delivering the highest level of clinical expertise and personal care to over 61,000 people and counting. We remain committed to carrying on the work of the original founders, empowering people to achieve as much independence and quality of life as possible. <laughs>